Uh, we are going to solve radical equations in this video. Let's look at the first question, square root of x equals 4. Um, I'm going to square both sides of the equation to get rid of the radical sign. So here it goes. Square root of x squared equals whatever you do to the left-hand side of the equation, you have to do the same thing to the right-hand side. So the square root of x squared equals 4 squared. Now this square cancels the radical sign, and that leaves only x on the left-hand side. So x equals 4 squared, which is 16. So we've got the solution. Let's check the solution. Check. Now if you put this number back into the original equation, we have square root of 16. That's the left-hand side. And square root of 16 is nothing but 4 and that the 4 is the right-hand side. So the left-hand side equals the right-hand side, so this is the correct solution. Okay, let's look at the second example. Uh, we're going to use the same idea, and we, ca we are going to square the left-hand side and take square of the right-hand side. When you take the square of the right-hand side, because the number is a negative number, we have to use parentheses. Okay, now we have x on the left, and negative 4 squared is positive 16. Okay, again, let's check this solution. Is this really a solution? Let's plug that back into the equation. So then we have square root of 16 equals negative 4. But square root of 16 is 4, it is not negative 4. So the left-hand side is not equal to the right-hand side. So this is not really the solution of this, this equation. So we can't take this as a solution. And in fact, there is no solution of this equation at all. So checking the solutions is really an important step because sometimes uh, you come up with some, some number that is not actually a solution. Okay, here is uh, another example. This time we, we have a cube root. So how do we get rid of cube root? Well, for square root, we, take, we took square of both sides. For cube root, we are going to take cube of both sides of the equation. So this is going to cancel the radical sign and just leave x plus 1, the thing, inside the radical sign. And on the right-hand side, we have the number 8. So if you subtract 1 from both sides, we get the solution, x equals 7. Now, let's check the number again. Let's check the solution. So, if you plug this back into the original equation, what do we have? Cube root of 7 plus 1, and that is cube root of 8. And this is cube root of 2 cubed, so this equals 2. So, the left-hand side of the equation equals the right-hand side of the equation. So, this really is the solution and we can take it as the solution of the equation. Okay, here we have the next example. So in this example, you see uh, there are two terms on the left-hand side. So the first thing to do is to isolate this radical alone on the left-hand side. So we're going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation and leave only the radical 3x plus 4 on the left and and then we have x minus 2 on the right. Now let's take square of both sides. Because there are two terms on the right hand side, we're going to use uh, parentheses. Okay, then the left hand side is 3x plus 4. The right hand side we have uh, x minus 2 squared, which is, uh, this is x minus 2 times x minus 2. So we have x squared and x times negative 2, this is negative 2x, and there is another negative 2x here, so negative 2x and another negative 2x, together as, as negative 4x. And then negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Now we're going to switch to these two sides. I prefer to leave the x squared on the left. So I'll just switch to the places. And then um, we're going to use um, the factoring method. So 
we're going to subtract everything on the right hand side from both sides of the equation and we have x squared minus 7x plus minus 4 that's 0 and nothing is left on the right hand side so now x is a common factor of the left hand side so if you factor it out you have x times x minus 7 equals 0 so two factors multiply to 0 so we can say that either one of the factors equals 0 so x equals 0 or x minus 7 equals 0 so the solutions are 0 or 7 now don't forget the, the last step you have to check these numbers okay so we're going to plug in 0 first let's plug in 0 the left hand side becomes 3 times 0 plus 4 plus 2 and this is square root of 4 plus 2 or 2 plus 2 and that is 4 on the other hand we are on the right hand side we have just x and x was supposed to be 0 so the right hand side is 0 so 4 is not equal to 0 so the left hand side and the right hand side are not equal to each other so this is this number 0 is not really a solution uh, next, let's take a look at uh, number 7. Uh, square root of 3 times 7 plus 4 plus 2. This is the left hand side. And this is uh, 3 times 7, 21, plus 4 is 25. And plus 2 outside of the radical sign. And then this is 5 plus 2, which is 7. And on the right hand side, we have x. x is supposed to be 7, so we have the same numbers. So we can take 7 as a solution. So the answer is the answer is that there is only one solution and that is 7.